In 2025, it's not enough to get the number one ranking for a keyword. You need to optimize your content to be able to win the AI overview because more and more people will be clicking this AI overview and more and more clicks will go to this section compared to the number one, number two, and number three ranking and so on. So in today's video, I'll be showing you a free tool in which you can use to optimize your content and increase the likeliness that you can win the AI overview. So the AI overview is a search engine experience that's being in beta test right now from Google. And essentially how it works is you search up a keyword and the AI will then take that information from the top ranking blog post and put it all into one place so that you can easily access the information that you're looking for. As you can see here, we searched up castor oil to remove skin tags and we get an AI overview for this specific keyword. And if we look on the right hand side here, we can see the three websites that are ranking for that specific keyword. And coincidentally, if I scroll down, I can see Banner Health is number one, the Minor Surgery Center, which is our client that we work with, they are number two, and number three is AARP. So if you're already ranking, then it's likely that you'll also rank for the AI overview, but there's a specific way in which you need to create your content to increase the likeliness again that you'll be featured in the AI overview. There's a great article in SEMrush, which walks you through how to create structured data. So structured data essentially allows uh, Google to read your information much better and then allow it to use that information within its overview. So structured data is essentially what allows you to rank and get the featured snippet on Google. And that is the same type of uh, content you need to put onto your website in order to win the featured snippet. And more and more, you're going to need to optimize your content to be able to win those AI overviews. So that's easy for Google to read that information from your website. If you'd like to understand and actually go through an experiment of creating structured data, head over to the website in which I will put in the description below today's video. And what you want to do is you want to first get started with the type of content in which you like to uh, mark up. So let's say, for example, we wanted to start tagging one of our articles. I'm going to copy over an article URL and we're going to hit start tagging. And remember we clicked articles, but if you looked, there's a multiple different things in which you can actually do structured data for. You can do it for courses, you can do it for products. It's really, really good for e-commerce as well um, because uh, you can have your product featured on the Google first page. Okay, so this is a structured data markup helper. So we see we can start tagging data by highlighting text or image. Let's say for example, so we're gonna highlight this and then we're gonna say that this is the title. So now. The AI knows that this is the title. And again, the way that the AI bot works is that it's going to go onto your website and crawl those websites. And if you're able to have your information that is in a much more uh, easier way for the AI to understand it, that then increases the likeness for it to rank that content. So that's what's really important for you to structure your data in a way that is pleasing to Google. So this is the article body. So again, what I can do is I can copy over all of this content to let the AI know that this is the article body. So again, it's going to take that information. I can then tag the author, the date published and the image. I can also add missing tags. So I can start by selecting a tag and I can add in any missing tags. There's three main ways in which you can create schema markup. One is a JSON, two is microdata and three is RDFA. Now what I could do is I can copy over my content on ChatGPT and tell it to create the JSON for that specific let's say that specific um, article, and then I can put that in the header of my website. And that also allows me to enter my structured data without using a tool like this. So once we've tagged all of our articles or titles or authors or date published and images as well, once you get the structured data, this is what it will look like. So as you can see here, it's tagged the context, it's tagged the type, it's tagged the headline, it's tagged the images, and it's also tagged the full body paragraph of the article. So then what we can do is we can add this script below our headers. So if you're using a plugin on WordPress, you can insert this JSON on the headers of that specific page right below the head section of that page. And now your JSON will be on that page. So Google will be able to read that. But as you can see here, we've used this same method to mark up our content and we are winning the AI overview for a couple of different keywords. So we can see here, cyst healing process, we're winning the AI overview for that. I showed you guys castor oil to remove skin tags, how long does cyst removal surgery take to heal, and so on and so forth. And we are winning the snippet for a lot of content. Another feature snippet, do moles come back after mole removal, and so on. So we have a lot of content here, and which we're winning either the AI overview or we're winning the feature snippet, and that's because we mark up the content. 
Before we continue today's video, I want to mention my free tool in which you can use. It's image.wordrocket.ai. I will leave a link in the description below today's video. It's a blog post and a social media image generation tool. You can generate a variety of different images using these templates. If you'd like to try the tool for yourselves, check out the link in the description below to this video. Now let's continue. 